hey guys thank you guys so much for tuning in welcome to my channel um, like always if you like these types of videos give this video a thumbs up um, and if you can share and subscribe um, that really helps me out and I appreciate you guys so much but yeah right now it's raining outside let me guys show you guys really quickly so I'm chilling in my car but you can kind of see it's like raining a little bit raining it, we don't really get rain a lot in California we get it very like sporadically throughout the year i mean i don't remember when was the last time it rained here that's like how bad it is but like i said this is a quick little haul from target nothing fancy in my car so it's not anything bougie but i got this big bucket um just a big gray bucket this little it's just a collapsible and I, sorry i'm only working with one hand so i can't really show you guys really in detail because yeah it's, i'm literally this hand right here that you guys see right here is holding the camera and then this hand is all i'm working with but it's basically one of these just like collapsible like dog bowls. Um, we go on a lot of like road trips with the dogs. And so obviously like, you know, they get thirsty and stuff like that. And I like to use these instead because then I can just carry like a big water bottle for them. Another thing that I got for the household is this Scrub Daddy soap dispensing dishwan self standing. So it looks like this. And basically it's just like a scrub daddy sponge and then you fill it up with like soap and yeah it self says I don't want this for my kitchen because for my kitchen I already have like a regular scrub daddy and that's what I used to wash my dishes the reason I bought this was because y'all know the girl on TikTok of uh, Vanessa like she like she's like kind of like the I don't know to be honest I don't know what she like she's obviously like you know famous on TikTok like she's fucking huge but I don't know if she's like, I think she's a spokesperson now for Scrub Daddy. I don't know, but she's big on Scrub Daddy. She's actually the reason I started to use Scrub Daddies because everyone would rave about Scrub Daddies. And I was like, nah, nah. But then cuando ella los empezó a usar y decir cosas de ellos, then I was like, oh, hell yeah, I'm gonna try the Scrub Daddies. Like, she's made, she made it so that like, like, I don't know, the way she would hype them up, I was like, oh yeah, like, I'm gonna try these. But anyways, she had said something about like, uh, I think she had said something like if you clean your bathtubs or your showers, you get lazy or something like that to just fill this up with like a uh, Dawn dish soap. And then I think you're supposed to fill it up with something else. But I need to watch the TikTok video again. I saved it so that I could watch it. But basically, like you, you fill this up with Dawn dish soap and then look at her video. Go look for Vanessa. Like I can't remember her last name, but literally she's a person that like always talks about scrub daddy. So she's like, and she cleans a lot. So you're going to know who I'm talking about. The next things that I got are skincare because I needed, I ran out. So this is the Mighty Patch, the original, the or the Hero Mighty Patch, the original. And these are the acne patches. Remember que les había dicho that I had bought these? I had bought these for Diaz because he gets a lot of pimples and he used these and they worked. And then lately... I don't know what's been going on but my skin has been breaking out a lot like a lot like i have a like i don't know if you guys can see probably i don't know maybe it's because the lighting you guys won't be able to see but i've been breaking out a lot like on my face on even on my neck which i don't ever think i've ever even no not on my neck on my shoulder i mean i don't think i've ever had gotten like a break out on my shoulder and then on my back yeah i tend to break out on my back because of sweat but um i've been breaking out a lot and I don't want to pop them or anything like that, but because I know that these work, I ended up buying these again. I also bought the Hero Mighty Patch Nose. And so these are the same thing. These are the same thing, but these are for your nose. And so it's basically like, a, I think like a pore strip for your nose. Um, and it absorbs the gunk from pores and pimples overnight. I'm kind of curious. I bought this because I want to try it out because I have a lot of gunk in my nose um, that needs to come out. And I was like, you know what? Let me try these in. I better see see So these, I don't know how good these are, but I'll let you guys know. I've been hearing a lot of people rave about the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer Clear. And the L'Oreal Paris Magic Perfecting Base Face Primer. Um, looks the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Real Techniques one, but I saw that they ha they have like a bunch of other sponges that they came out with. I haven't, like I said, usually I keep buying the same products. I haven't been trying out. So no me había dado cuenta that they came out with new sponges. But I wanted to try this one out. This is the Real Techniques Miracle Air Blend Sponge in the natural matte finish. And this is for medium to full coverage. Hi guys, um, so I'm back home, finished all of the errands and everything I had to do 
it's around 4 41 almost 5 p.m so it's pretty late but like i had told you guys i had to go do laundry um and the laundry mat was really full today like i had to wait for a dryer and that usually never happens like that's the first time that's ever happened to me so it was really full i thought it wasn't gonna be that full because it was raining and i thought people were gonna be like i don't know like they were like not gonna want to go let's see that web up but no, everybody was on their game they were at the laundry mat so it kind of took me forever to do that and then i folded everything there so yeah but anyways ignore the mess in the background i need to clean at least the dining table up um later but anyways i went to the 99 cent store and i have a mini haul for you guys so i usually buy like my so i buy i go to the 99 cent store probably like i would say like once a week to get like groceries and when i say groceries it's because you don't always find everything there so i kind of go there first and i kind of get what i can get and then whatever i can't find i'll usually go to aldi and kind of get like other things there but uh, let me say this a lot of people sleep on the 99 cent store or they talk a lot of shit about going to the 99 cent store like i mean nunca se me va a olvidar when literally um and it wasn't just one person like it was a couple people so I used to work, um, this was a long, long time ago. Like this was like, it was like my first or second job, I think. And I like, you know, we were just like chit-chatting coworkers in like the break room or whatever. And I remember one time being like, oh yeah, like I like they were like, I don't even know how I came into the conversation, but somehow grocery shopping came into the conversation. And I was like, oh yeah, like I'll go to the 99 cent store. And they were like, ew, you go to the 99 cent store? Like that's so gross. Like they literally told me that they're like, that the stuff there is like bad and like it's so gross like people who shop at the 99 sister and i was like bitch what like i'm sorry but like for me like i have nothing but good experiences from the 99 cent store i will say this you have to know when they stock your local like 99 cent store because if you go on a day when they don't stock it's going to be empty as hell or ya va a estar como todo la la fruta and everything bien escogida like any other grocery store you know so i always go on the days that they stock um mine tends to stock on wednesdays and saturdays that's just what i've noticed um but i don't know if that's the schedule for all the 99 cent store that's just like my local one um, but yeah, there's some good ass deal and let me just say this, you know, if you're the type of person que hablas así como like de la gente de lo que ellos pueden pagar, like that just says a lot about your personality. Talk down on people for what they do, you know what I mean? Like, si no es algo que tú hicieras, nomás quédate callado y no digas nada, you know? Um, like, nadie te pidió esa opinión. And let me just say this too about the 99 cent store, like, like I say, I always rave about the 99 cent store. I have had really good experiences at the 99 cent store. Um, I check the expiration dates before I have before I get them and sometimes the shit that I buy at the 99 cents I see at the store and it's literally the same exact thing and it's more expensive so yeah that's my experience with the 99 cents store and this is the thing about me like I don't care how much money in life I make and I'm not even making bank let's just say that first of all but um, it doesn't matter how much money I make in life like your girl's always gonna be a 99 cents queen like i'm always gonna be budget savvy and i'm always gonna shop at the 99 cents store because i feel like they have good ass deals and yeah like i i'm always i'm i'm definitely a budget savvy queen when it comes to certain things so, so the first thing i got were just some plain bagels I just got these because these are kind of good to have like in the morning um if you need a little bit of a carb or if you need kind of like something in between to fill you up i just like to have these finding these tezo passion um uh, herbal teas and these were 99 cents each i think let me see also got some eggs so i got this nelly's free range eggs and these are 24 medium eggs I usually at the night accessory you can find some good snacks too or some good chucherias and I'm trying not to eat as much junk food but I couldn't pass on these because you know you always have like sometimes a little sweet tooth after que come so I wanted these um, but these are the brownie brittle hot chocolate marshmallows bell peppers so just of each color because I like to eat those nopales I like these because they already come cut and they like yeah ya vienen cortados and I like that because your girl no se va a poner a pelarlos because soy huevona, so I'm not gonna do that. But dragon fruit. And yeah, era la única que quedaba, so I just got one. Some onions. I got some little like cheap, like grape tomatoes. This is the de, Del Real pork and green sauce chile verde. I don't know how this is gonna taste, you know. Obviously me being, you know, 
um, Latina, I've had Chile Verde, you know, like the homemade one, like that's mi abuela, and it's pretty bomb. So usually when I buy things like this, I'm like a little hesitant because I feel like they don't taste anywhere similar, but we're gonna try it out and see how it tastes. I love, like, dude, I used to buy these, this type of things a lot when I was in college. Just like really got me through like meal prepping and stuff. But I figured I would buy some of these so I could make like salads and just have like things like pre-made because this week's going to be kind of busy for us. So whenever we're having like a busy week or anything like that, I try to have a lot of stuff that's not necessarily meal prepped, but like I cut up all the fruits, I cut up all the veggies, um, I leave a lot of protein stocked and I have like salads um, stocked so that that way we can just grab and go in case we're, you know, we don't have time to make anything. But I got these chicken fajitas and... They're, yeah, they're already cooked already, so I think you just pop them in the microwave. Of that. Girl, like, I love chicken and fish, but your girl really is like a red meat type of girl. Pero I don't eat red meat as much anymore, um, but I had to get some steak. I, I'm like a sucker for steak. So I got the same thing, but I got some steak fajitas. And yeah, that's all the things that I got from the 99 cent store. Anyways, guys, that's the end of this vlog. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this vlog um and i i said come on i'm already being annoying i say this every video but y'all know i'm annoying um like this video if you enjoyed watching it um if you can and you're not already please subscribe at the bottom um if you already are subscribed and you would like to share this video with your friends family la tia la abuela anybody you know um, that would be greatly appreciated because that kind of helps me get new followers and stuff like that and kind of just appreciate you guys so much um, Happy holidays. It's the month of December You know, I hope you guys have great holidays and that you guys get to be around your loved ones and you guys have some safe holidays but Anyways, bye guys. Thank you guys so much for watching